Oh yeah, what's going on guys? Uh, just waking up right here and we've got ourselves a nice install. New software coming up. Hopefully it is the V10. As you guys can see, I changed the name of the car there. Super excited. We're going to see if this works out. And Hey, what's going on YouTube fam? Today I've got the V10 install that just happened about um, 15 minutes ago. Uh, it's right now September 27th. It's a Friday and we did get this installed. Uh, I don't know when the update came through. I didn't do anything to, you know, help progress this along. The only thing I really did was change the name to V10 Dreamer, but we're into Friday now, and uh, we've got the update here. I have a standard Range Plus. That's the car that I have here. It had no entertainment in it before. The only different thing that I'm doing now, maybe different, is I have my phone that is uh, up there. It is a Wi-Fi hotspot, and we're going to see how this car reacts to the uh, Wi-Fi hotspot and the features that's in here. So we did not do anything again. I changed the name to V10 Dreamer just as a fun joke. So let's briefly look at the uh, the release notes here. Cuphead, the game, Smart Summons Beta. We're going to try that today. So if you're watching this video and you subscribe and get notified when I do that, I'm going to get the drone up. We're going to fly this uh, drone in a parking lot so you can watch this from a bird's eye view on how this car will come to you. And we get the, We did get the Tesla Theater. One of the things that I want to let you guys know, we'll jump in here and we'll actually see the Tesla Theater might be some surprises in there for you. So you got Spotify right here. That's really great because I subscribe to Spotify as it is already. So this just seamlessly will just go in. I don't have to have my phone in hand. I may be able to access everything and search right from the screen here and have my phone out of my hand for just a little bit more, you know, uh, for that safety factor. Or is it? I don't know. So we can do browser and streaming media. That is perfect. Uh, we get the Tesla Theater and you get the streaming options in there. Driving visualizations, I'm excited to see what that is. I think we can move um, our cars around and see like a 360 view in there. I don't know yet, but again, if you wanna see that video, subscribe and hit that bell button. I'm gonna do that by the end of the day. We're gonna put that up to a full on release of what is in here. Feeling lucky or hungry, I love that because I absolutely love trying to go through and find you know new places or something fun to do an adventure right there. Maps improvements, pretty awesome. I'm hoping that we'll be able to see the satellite view and access the uh, traffic data as well. So we got the mobile app. We can do more in there. Dash cam improvements, another great one here. I absolutely love the dash cam. As you guys can see, I got my SanDisk right down in there. And I can't wait to see the rear camera in there. And also so we don't have to dump these memory cards over and over again. So perfect. Sentry mode improvements, thank you. We're going to put those videos on to a separate folder so perfect here now joe mode if you haven't seen dirty tesla he's did done a whole video on the summons and everything like that check his channel out but on joe mode right here uh, i heard that it's kind of helpful for the kids so it doesn't ring so loud when you are uh, you know putting on autopilot or getting alerts we'll see our kids sleep through everything bluetooth media improvements i love it application launcher driver profile these are them. I'm going to put a link to the release notes in the description. You guys can read over these, but I want to get into the meat and potatoes of this, show you what is in here. I'm super excited for this. We're going to go into our quick dash cam thing here. The web we're going to take a look at right here. I've got my website pulled up. I want to see how it looks on there. looks pretty good. Now, remember, I am dependent on my Wi-Fi hotspot that's on my phone here. I have Sprint cellular service, and it is horrible. So I have like two bars on the phone there. So everything's going to run a little bit slow. We're going to go into the Tesla website. We're going to just push this in. So this is a Chromium browser. So what you can do is you can actually just type in the browser bar, whatever your search is, and it will go to it. So if we jump into Tesla right here, it's going to go right to, to Tesla tutorials. And your browser might start up in this view right here. If you can't figure out how to get the um, get the, the browser to go away, it's literally just up here in the, in the X on there. And it's going to bring it down to that. You guys want to go and check out YouTube and the uh, other features in the entertainment system there. Let's do that. So when you go into entertainment here, there's going to be two different areas. It's going to be arcade and theater. So if you can't find theater and you're excited about this, don't forget. It's right up here at the top. You got the Cuphead, Beach, Buggy, Racing 2, and Chess. Those are the all in the most recent ones, but the most recent for V10 is this Cuphead game right here. We'll play it later on in the full video that we're doing. So theater, Netflix, I've already pre-logged in here, so I don't have to worry about doing the passwords and all that, and we're gonna play a little snippet. Look at this, full screen. We're not gonna add that, but it is just like you would see on your screen at home. 
I'm digging it. I'm pretty excited about that. We'll jump into this one so we don't get popped for copyright. Turn that volume down. And you can see, you can jump through here, and the UI is pretty intuitive. It's just like you would on there. It's touch sensitive, so it's like detecting that this is a laptop. And I'm super excited when I'm going on my trips to be able to put this on while I'm at a supercharger because I have a couple 30 minute sessions we're going to be charging when we go take this road trip coming up soon. So, um, looking at Stranger Things right here, and all I have to do is resume and play, and we'll get on there. And that's it. Now, remember, this is running on Wi Fi. Sprint Cellular Wi-Fi, and we'll close that out. Now, one of the other things you might have noticed up there in this, there's also Hulu. I wasn't aware that Hulu was on here, and you also have uh, YouTube in here. So we'll jump into YouTube so you guys can see that. More realistically, when you're at a supercharger, you're going to be using YouTube rather than maybe getting into uh, Netflix. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. But we're going to jump in here and just type in my name real quick, Mark Dickinson. And we are going to see what comes up. Hey, there I am. So we're going to jump into this one here. I did turn that volume down. So when you tap on full screen on YouTube, you can actually get into a full screen mode. This bar down here should disappear, uh, I would hope. It does not. Oh, there it goes. It did disappear. It's just like it does on the phone. It takes a couple of seconds there. So there's my intro teaser for that. You want to tap on the screen and then you'll have to tap out to get there out of full screen and you can check the video. So this is very similar to having like a tablet or a Microsoft Surface or one of those other devices like that. Super digging it here. All right, let's talk about something else that I'm super excited about and that is advanced summons. I'm not going to be able to do it right now because we're going to go set everything up and put it all together but let's jump in here to the settings of the car and we're going to go into I think it's in navigation or autopilot rather so under summons I have maybe they just don't call it advanced summons but I have summons beta right here we're going to customize summons but I don't see the advanced summons in here maybe it's in the app only so let's go ahead and look at the phone here and see if that happens to uh to work there so under safety and security is going to be where Joe mode is. We have a security alarm now. I don't know if that was called the same before. Maybe it was. Again, I, it's hard to remember all these things that are in here. So we have the park assist chimes. Joe mode, that's where it's going to keep your car just a little bit quieter for your kids and bring those chimes. Allow mobile access, service, wheel configuration. That happened in V9. And that's about it. Software update, that's where we're at right now. We still have it on advanced and release notes. And I'll change my name back now. Guys, thanks for a quick overview in this V10 here. We're going to get out today. Remember, like and subscribe. Hit that bell button. I'm going to get the drone up. We're going to fly this drone in a parking lot and see this from a top-down view and test out this advanced summons. I'm super excited to see how it works. So if you guys want to see that here, hit that bell button. I'm going out in five minutes to go check that. I'll see you guys again soon, and have a good day.